hey everyone so yeah I made this video to show how do we activate uh, OpenGL in Visual Studio uh, first uh, please make sure you're installing Visual Studio and not Visual Studio code because those are two different softwares and uh, let me be honest I'm sorry many of you have asked me on how some bit uh, how do we install OpenGL in Visual Studio and uh, I haven't really responded to any of you properly because honestly I don't know myself uh, so I'm going to be giving a solution from Stack Overflow on my YouTube uh, link description you will find a drive link which uh, when you go to you will actually get all the OpenGL header files and all the DLL files for you to activate and there's a readme file and uh, that file is the most important file which you have to follow and uh, kindly uh, use the instructions there so that we can actually activate it kindly keep this video running on your phone or any other device not on what you're installing because we might have to restart the laptop or computer whatever you're using so yeah I would recommend that you keep this video on in your phone or some other place so like you can actually see what's going on so just extract the OpenGL folder into your desktop or any place like that uh, and I'll be telling you where the each file is gonna go using the readme file which is present there I already have them so yeah as you can see there are a few header files and few DLL files which we have to put and the readme file has all the instructions given not very clearly because I took them from Stack Overflow and uh, let me be honest I am not sure if this is going to work or not so once you're in the installer uh, make sure you uh, know what you're installing and once you have installed uh, make sure you install whatever components you need for now we won't be installing any other IDs there are so many things you can install in case you want to but for now C++ C++ is the only one which we need you can do other programming stuff which you want to because Visual Studio is pretty much well defined for everything and we don't need all of that for now so I'll just be installing the C++ C++ one and I recommend you do that the same in case you're not interested in any other type of development um, and then click next then kindly choose the installation procedures which you feel are comfortable for your ease and go forward so after a decade your installation finally ends and you'll be asked to restart your computer I recommend not restarting now because uh, we need to place the files in their place and it's better we restart later so as you remember there was a readme file uh, we were working on so I'm going to open the readme file again mm, once again yeah so these are the files which we have and uh, we need to put them in the exact locations using the readme file kindly follow along I don't want you getting lost so as you can see the first is the glut.h one and we'll be putting that in its perfect place osc program files 8x where is that huh microsoft visual studio And of course I have the 2019 version uh, but if you uh, install the 2017 version please kind of go forward with that one if it's pre-installed it's well enough for you I am not recommending any version as of now go to community uh, VC and then tools and this is the version number it can change according to which version you have installed and as you can see there is no GL folder here so what I am going to do is I'm going to create a new GL folder because that's what Stack Overflow asked me to do and I'm going to be putting blood.h inside the GL folder you'll be asked to give admin privileges a lot of time so I recommend you are on the admin user when you're using this on your laptop in case you're not the admin user I recommend you restart the laptop or computer and join in as the admin user I don't think admin user is a thing right now but when we had XP systems it was a big deal 
like there were so many things you couldn't do when you're not an admin mm, those were bad times so for my convenience i have kept the folders like this so you can also follow along and i'm doing it really slow so you can keep up in case you're doing it slowly too i'll be doing one file at a time I'll keep checking which exact file has to go to which exact place because in case you mess this up pretty sure it's not going to work one goes to x64 another one goes to x86 make sure you know which file goes where obviously uh, this is not the procedure for a linux system and i'm not sure how exactly it will work in a linux system but i think i will try and make a video on that too depending on how many people are actually facing problems on this of course there are some people who won't be interested in installing the first place and honestly i respect those people because they realize that in the end of the day it's just mugging up and dumping the code in your exam no one really needs to know how this works i mean no one really uses opengl these days it is an obsolete software for an obsolete error and that's why you see we are doing all this struggling because we are trying to install something which has no current requirement nobody in society is looking for someone who can code in opengl everything is gui based and all the settings and properties can be set directly i'm not trying to demotivate i'm just trying to explain why things are the way they are it's because if in the current area there was a need of this someone would have automated it or made it like more easier to access so now we're down to our last file and uh well once we're done with all of them we need to restart the system so that we can like take effect of visual studio so kindly restart your system and continue the video after that so after back from restarting you can uh, turn on visual studio mind you visual studio not visual studio code so yeah keep the readme file open in the side because we're going to be needing it a lot more than we were needing it before <laughs> so i know a lot of you are going to come to me after like trying this out and you will come and tell me that sambit i have done exactly what you have told me like exact steps and it's not working uh, and i'm going to be honest with you there is nothing i can do right now i can't come over to your house and make you install it not at this time and also let me be honest with you and tell you that it doesn't really matter if you can install it or not because end of the day you're going to be doing on the lab and the lab will have it installed it's just for practice right now if you want to you can do it but it's not really a compulsion that you need it the software is more of a want than it is a need so yeah please don't worry you will still do well in your exams if you will learn the code and everything so let me warn you right now itself the upcoming parts are going to be really tricky and if you haven't been paying attention uh, please start now because the following part really requires your 100 percent attention in case you want it to work and uh, yeah so please make up your mind follow step by step pause the video whenever you need to and kindly follow the instructions as it is given in this video so this is the window which opens up once you have installed properly and selected the software so as you can see we'll be following exactly as the readme start as states we will be creating a new project if you don't believe me just see here it says um, create a new project so that's what we are going to do uh, guess the instructions were made for 2017 version and there are not much changes in the 2019 version um, so yeah 
choose a console app and uh, I'll be doing the sample code which is the flying kite and let's see if you can run that and okay create project now we wait so I have kept the sample code for flying kite ready in a notepad and we'll see if we can run that so this is the new project page which opens up and now open the readme file and we're gonna do exactly as it tells us to do so let's do this I'm going to be doing this really slow so you can keep up we go to project and we go to the project properties which is in this case flying kitty properties and this opens up so now as you can see we are going to have to select configuration and change it to all configuration on the top left corner so that's this button and we're going to change to all configuration yay so um, the next step will be to change the pre-compiled headers and uh, wait a second we're supposed to be changing the pre-compiled headers once again yeah this part the pre-compiled headers we have to uh, change it to no using pre-compiled headers and I guess that is here yes not using pre-compiled headers so after that so after finishing the pre-compiled headers part just repeating once again for your comfort so after the pre-compiled headers part let us move now into the linker and the input so we're going to select configuration properties and then move down all the way to the linker and we select input and now we got to add once again oops yeah and so now uh, we are going to add the additional dependencies on the right one where's the additional dependencies mm. once again uh, okay it's here so we got a I'll just copy and paste just give me some time just copy and paste what was given here into there and uh, make sure you move the spaces so that they come there's nothing in between and all of them should be in a new line please make sure they're all in a new line and after that make sure you hit the apply button after you're done otherwise the changes don't get saved and now uh, I'll be opening a sample code and I'm going to be shamelessly copy pasting it into the code this thing the studio so that we can run it directly and let's hope this works we try running the code and okay that doesn't seem right and yay we got an error woohoo what did we expect um so it turns out that if you have done all the steps which i have asked correctly you get an error and yay plus point uh, well now at least you know you're going on the right track so actually what i realized was uh, the stack overflow solution had a mistake the main thing being uh, we weren't actually giving the exact header file location we are supposed to be giving gl slash then glut so in case you're installing it 
don't have to give the gl folder or in case when you're running your codes just add gl slash glut so that's gonna help running the code so yeah that's about it i guess um let's see if it can run and as you can see that it is running yay success so if you guys are going to be sending me pictures of errors showing that your code is not running oh no you're getting an error so i'm going to be scene zoning you guys because like i said it's more of a want than a need and that being said uh, all the best hope this thing works for you